All right, guys, today we have some super exciting news for the Corolla. We have the cheapest coilovers we could find on eBay. $300, so it's more than 10 times more expensive than the last lowering attempt we did with the Corolla. Um, let's open them up and see what's inside. Handy cameraman today. They're blue, I thought they were purple. 300 bucks gets you camber plates on the front, uh, preload and ride height adjustable, not just preload to adjust your ride height. I mean, honestly, this is pretty impressive. I don't know if it'll, you know, be worth it, but it's impressive. That's the front. Let's look at a, oh wow, the rear actually also, it has a heim joint. It doesn't have a, a camber plate, but it's got heim joints. Uh, the fact that this is gonna be directly on the metal, it's probably gonna, yeah, there's like no insulation, it's just the heim joint. This is gonna be really loud, but it will be better than the last video we did on the Corolla. All right, keen viewers might be quick to notice we're not using the two post lift today. That's because my brother's other car, the C4 Corvette, is sitting up there because we don't have all the parts. Story of our lives. All right, I know we joke around and have a good time on this channel, but really do use jack stands, especially when you're gonna be putting your legs and stuff underneath the car. You don't wanna kill yourself in such a stupid way. Save that for when the coilovers are installed. Close enough. What am I stuck on now? There we go. Stock one's out. I'm just choosing a ride height. Whatever we do, like this doesn't mean anything yet. So just choose two arbitrary points and, and make it the same for both sides. 14 and three quarters. And this is all adjustable. I mean, I don't know with these, but this should all be adjustable inside, the, like when it's on the car. But you also, I don't want to put this together and then we can't, like the two sides are completely different. Uh, if you do have camber plates, make sure your adjustment is in the meaningful direction. Make sure it's towards the inside of the car. Or else you'll have caster. <laughs> yeah, unless you'll have caster adjustment. We might have to extend that. Like, I don't know where That's, this. It's way too much. I will say, ideally, you would like for these to be Acme threads because they can handle loading a lot better. But this is a $300. What's Acme? That's the thread standard. They're square instead of pointy threads. This is still pretty wild. Oh my god, your brakes are hot. Because there is actually a little bit of camber adjustment down There's here. There's so much camber on it right now. Oh. It's going to be low. It says one to three inches. This looks like five. <laughs> <sighs> Click. First impressions is, man, these are shitty. But then I remember the price. I'm like, man, these are a good deal. This side's mega oil. Yeah. It's 
Probably because these shocks are in such good shape. <sighs> the roll, the sway bar. This one I set the suspension. I uh, the suspension of the suspension. I already I set the collars. Collar ID. Man, this would make me look so much better if I got it the first try like the other side. Pop the hood. Not a bad way to spend ten thousand dollars. Brother. They wonder if they ever considered casting Hulk Hogan. This is going rather painless. No, no, we just popped it all out. We probably did. I'm not worried about camera. We do, we should eyeball. Well, if I look at it, I mean. Ready for slammage? Why? It's, it's low. Is this lower than the other side or is it just now that it's not holding it up? Oh yeah, they're the same ride height. Holy shit. Slow and low. All right, so we got both fronts installed and jumping on it. There's no weird noises. There's a lot of deflection in the tire. The tire deflects more than the springs. But the rear is a treat. There's nothing in the trunk. So I think it's an upgrade already. Oh yeah. In 24 in the rear. I'm removing the top cap because it's on the inside, or top hat. Uh, they do give you these convenient little access holes. It's not, it's not as convenient as they would want you to think, but at least you don't really have to take anything apart on the interior. This installs gone pretty smoothly. The only weird little hiccup was uh, the rear sway bar mounts, the powder coat was on there pretty thick. So we had to drill it out to be able to fit the link through, but it's gone pretty well. It hasn't settled and the other side's still tall. How's it look? Lowered? That's way too tall. Damn it. All right, so what we're gonna do is just measure an inch out here, and that's how we'll know. Because I don't remember what we set this to. I do. Do you? What? 11 inches total. Oh, yeah, four, four and three eighths. Four and three eighths is 11 inches. Once we get this one on, uh, we'll get the alignment sort of close. As you can see how much less droop we have in the front. We're, we're two wheeling. Oh my God, it's perfect. Well, this isn't lined up either. No. This is probably what it's gonna like ride at though with the weight of the vehicle on it. Can you actually see it on this side? Yeah. <laughs> on these, it actually felt like I was pulling the stud up. I heard it. Like if it wasn't set completely. Which I don't think is like a terrible thing. Yeah. Yes. 
That's pretty level. Alright guys, so here's the final product. As you can see, it's about three inches lower than before. And as far as ride and handling, I'd say this, the difference is unbelievable. Now this isn't like a racing suspension, but this isn't a racing car either. And for 300 bucks, I think you get a lot for your money. Uh, we're gonna need to put some more miles on it. We've only driven it 30, 40 miles, but so far, our initial impression is it works. It works really well. It lowers the car, it rides decent. What more could you ask for for 300 bucks? Stay tuned, we'll do some more stupid stuff to this car. Wheels are coming, lips coming, we might wrap it, who knows? See you next time.